Hello there, my name is Ellen Kamei Trent. Welcome to my channel. Today we're just painting a simple rabbit. It could be used for Christmas or winter or if you take off the scarf for Easter um, and watercolor today. And it's really quick, very easy, and let's get started. All right, so let's get started by drawing out the bunny. We're gonna just start with making a line that goes curves down, it comes back in, and over here. Like that. Put his ear. Ear like that. And we'll have a little nose like that. His little eye. It's like a half circle or curve line. Then we're just gonna pull a line down here for his body. Another one down here, have his little legs like so. And the back of him like so. You put his little pump pump. His little tail if you want. Or not, but you get the idea. I have little whiskers, and then if you want to put a scarf on him, you could put earmuffs on this guy, which would be kind of cute. You can play him playing in the snow. All right, let's get started. Okay, so now I drew my bunny on my piece of paper. I used that transfer sheet that I told you about before. It's just a piece of graphite paper. I mentioned it in one of my other tutorials. This is a graphite paper. You can buy it um, many art supply stores or craft stores. You place the drawing on top and then you draw on top of that and then it, the drawing comes underneath it and then I just usually lightly take it off with my gum eraser. I love the gum eraser. Or if you just want to draw it freehand with a 2H pencil, which is a very light pencil, that works also. So I've already got, I've got my palette here. And what I do before I even start the tutorials, I get the, the colors pretty much wet so they're not dry, like having you watch me mix up the colors. And I mix up the colors, I mean, get them dry and wet with this crappy kind of brush. You don't want to you don't want to use your good watercolor brushes mixing color because you're ruining them. So now I'm just going to take my ground background number 10, get some water on it. I've mixed burnt and raw umber over here. I'm going to get it fairly loose. I'm going to put a light wash on this bunny guy. And with this wet on wet, we're going to wash in like a couple of colors so we get him wet this wash of this brown like so just go in and fill in that back of his ear over here and this one we're going to keep that middle part clear for pink the interior of the ear and see that's still wet. So zoom in, pull this down. So wet. Making sure this light isn't too bright. I have two lights on here today. I'm trying to make sure that you can see it better. So it's very light. I'm gonna go in and add some of the darker front number. Going fairly fast. Pulling that color in. Gonna add in some medium yellow. Gonna add in some Payne's gray. That's a little too dark, so I'm gonna take some of that away with my brush, like a mop. Did you see how I'm playing, adding in the color? Okay, I'm back. My mic. I dropped the mic. <laughs> yes, I literally dropped the mic. So I'm just moving the color around here. I want to keep the nose area fairly light. I'm moving it back here. And up in the air. While it's wet, if you want to take the tip of your brush just push out some of the wa uh, watercolor here. Let me zoom in a little closer. 
you take the tip and you're just pushing it out just slightly and that will give it the the fur effect just pushing it out while it's still wet instead of you going back in and adding the color and doing that looks a little more natural that way so here I'm just playing adding color subtracting color I'm going to go back in and do those little lines and this is going to be darker I put a little concentrated color in here because it's the shadow behind the ear again playing around adding color I'm taking the color away if I think it's too dark I might use my brush to mop it up but adding in multiple colors you can add a little orange in there a little red mixed with yellow and all you can put a little red in there if you wanted to just like that you see that it just gives it more dimension I'm pulling this out I'm gonna do the body now same technique minus the scarf this time I just make it this wet instead and I'm just doing the leg part I'm not gonna do this part because it's gonna be darker in shadow so I'm just filling in the front legs and the front body area and this wash already of watercolor I mean of water already has like a brown tone to it and now I can go back in and add my tones Mixing up some orange yellow here yellow a little red it's a little bright so I'll take that away I'll add some brown I'll add some peanuts gray even for myself it's sometimes a trial and error on tones I mean this doesn't even have to be brown you can make this all gray with plenty of gray bunnies rabbits I would change it to gray if you want a gray one if you want your design to have a gray feel to it it's a little too dark so I'll clean my brush I'll dab it on the paper towel yeah, I'll show you that. Clean the brush, dab it, go back in and mop that up, push it around. But you're getting these multi tones, which is really nice. Looks more natural. And like I said, if you thought, oh my goodness, I put this color in, it's too dark, just wet it and grab it with the belly of your brush, swoop it up. You see, we're playing around with various tones. And again, you could take the brush and then just dabbing on the paper towel here, taking off all that water and using the tip and pulling out the paint to get the, the hair coming off. Now here's the back end, it's gonna have more of a shadow or you can leave it like this, it's kind of cute like that. You don't even have to put the back in. Just go in here, adding this tone. It's in the shadow, so it's going to be darker. And then you can add his little fuzzy tail. You don't have to put a tail. I'm just putting one in. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the pushing out the hairs with the tip of the brush. So it's a fuzzy tail. This is the wet on wet technique for this little guy. Again, you can play in going a little darker in some of the values as the shadows of his interior part of the body on the legs. Take the belly of the brush to pull out that paint to make it lighter here. 
and then you can go in with some deeper tones. A little add a little pants gray in here. Go back up to the ear up here. You could take whatever red you have, alizarin crimson, red medium, even if you add pink. That's a little too. I need more pink. Watered down alizarin crimson. And even then, you got to put some tones inside the ear because it looks too flat. So either some dark or the pink. Or you can add some of the brown. Or even gray inside there. And as I try, you can add some little hairs to go up right here over the ear. It's a little too bright with that yellow. So I'll mop it up. And then go back in and add some of my pink tones. Look at that. This is still drying. So we're going to dry, let this dry naturally, or you can use a dryer, whatever works for you. And then we're going to come back and do his scarf and then shadow over here. Okay, so that's dry. I'm going to do a plaid scarf on him. So I'm going to grab, pull this out. You can see I have some over here, indigo. Getting it fairly loose. And then I'll zoom in again. I've shown this you know, plaid technique quite a few times now on my reindeer. And I believe the bear one yesterday. So I'm going in and adding color. First you do like a stripe pattern. And then when you crisscross it, it ends up looking like plaid scarf. You don't have to do the same colors as I'm doing. You can just change it up. Whatever colors feels good to you. You don't even have to do plaid. That's a little too bright. Toned on that green. So you can, as if you go in here, you go the crisscross. I'm going to go in and add the blue. So I go in and add some black or pain's gray too. Small lines in between the red. More concentrated. And I feel like the red kind of washed out. So I'm going to go back in and add the red back in again. Yeah, kind of get bled out. So you're going to be playing around with this plaid. Getting it the right colorway tones that you want. It's a combination of watery and concentrated with the plaid.
This is the very concentrated paint spray I'm putting in. And then you can do his little fringes on the end. There's a little scarf. Not cute. We can do the eye now. I'm going to grab a smaller brush. I'm going to grab my Grumbacker number two. Um, using Payne's Ray again, you can use black if you don't have that color. Going to go up over the brow, like so, and under. Going to leave a white space in between the brow and the eyeball, and then a little halo. towards the top. And then for the nose, these simple little lines. Almost like a V and then a line down here. And then we're going to grab that color or you can use the concentrated burnt umber or the combination of two to make the whiskers. like that and if you want to put some of the like I said in the ear just take some of the concentrated of the burnt umber pull out some hairs even behind the ear too just in shadow not too much just enough. You can do some around the eye if you wanted to, but I'm, I'm going to keep it the way it is. And then just for the bottom, if you want to have them in snow, not snow or ground, whatever, um, take a ultramarine or I wouldn't use indigo for the for this the snow. I'd use a brighter, lighter blue, like an ultramarine or cobalt, or even a phthalo blue, even. Turquoise mixed with ultramarine. And we're just going to put some blue here. To indicate the snow. Go to a nice little wash and then I'm going to add some deeper color. Some of the more concentrated ultramarine. Just going down like this. Gives in shadow. Wash it down below, just putting some water and then taking your brush and mopping it. Again, you can go even darker right next to the rabbit. Here you did might you might want to add the indigo. Let's see how that would look. Mix with the ultramarine. And there's the guy. Zoom out. There's your silly rabbit. Now, same premise if you want to use it for Easter or just take out the scarf. Um, you can paint roses, you know, for something that's for Easter or Mother's Day, whatever that works for you. I mean, if you want to put some green trees in the background, you can do that. But this is just a simple tutorial on how to paint a a rabbit. So I hope you liked this. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I appreciate all the comments. And yes, I have a tutorial coming soon about supplies. I was shopping recently at Dick Book and I got some stuff. Boy, uh, prices really changed on some of these uh, gouache pieces that I got. Like uh, when I used to buy the gouache, of course the packaging is totally different.
they were like, hmm, I don't know, five dollars a tube. Some of these are like ten, twenty dollars a tube now. It's crazy. Anyway, so it's coming. Um, I just have to plan it accordingly. And with the holidays, it's just too much. So it's probably going to happen in the year. I'm just, I can't expect it to happen right now. Uh, my oldest is in boot camp, and he graduates uh, January third from Marine boot camp. And so we're kind of crazy all over the place right now. So anyway, have a great day, and thank you so much for stopping by.